Hey everybody here, this is Pastor Mike. I'm coming at you live, amen, from the pastor's retreat this week. And if you can look around, I'm at this great location. <laughs> got stuff falling out of trees out here. Uh, but this great retreat location with our bishop and uh, a time for co-pastor and I to just be refreshed. That being said, I decided this week that I would do Bible study differently with you. Instead of piling it all in in an hour or so, I decided that I would come at you uh, uh, periodically with three minute video clips that you can watch on the move and still get a whole grasp of our, under, uh, of our Bible study. That being said, you know that this week we're in the book of Corinthians, uh, first Corinthians that is written by the apostle Paul. It is an amazing book. You can find, uh, the backdrop of Corinthians when Paul was there, uh, around chapter 18 in the book of Acts and chapter 20 in the book of Acts. But that being said, Paul, uh, has been to Corinth. Uh, he went there on his second missionary journey. And, and he's concerned about this church. He's concerned about the growth of this church. Matter of fact, when he opens up there in Corinthians, he talks about this church and how great they are. He has high praise for this church. He calls them saints uh, and that, that he loves this church, but he has a mission. He writes this letter because this letter has to do with correction. This letter has to do with answering some questions that uh, the Gentile and, and Jewish community have and are dealing with. Corinth was an amazing city. Uh, it was a city of commerce. It, it was a city with culture. Uh, it was a city also that was corrupt in some areas. Uh, matter of fact, if we think about it, uh, Corinthians would be considered uh, a, a modern day sin city. But right in the middle of all of that is a church that is planted. And the apostle Paul writes to them after he has, has praised them and told them some things. And it's like immediately after the first few verses of chapter six, I'm sorry, of chapter one, he goes into what he wants to deal with. And what he wants to deal with here is division in the church. It was reported to him that there were factions in the church. There were people who were talking about they got saved up on the Apollos. There were people who were talking about I got saved up on the Peter. There were people who were talking about I got saved up on the Paul. And then there was some people just said we just met Christ. And so he had these divisions in the church that he was dealing with. And Paul comes to address that and say, what, what is this all about? We shouldn't be divided. The thing that we should be focused on here is that Christ is our Lord and Savior. And, and, and that Christ is the main thing of all of this. No matter who you got saved up under, uh, Christ is the main thing. And what do we learn from that? We learn, we learn that that in this day and time, we shouldn't be worried about denomination. We shouldn't be worried about where you got saved at, who you got saved. The thing is that you get saved up under the name of Jesus Christ. We shouldn't be worried about uh, who's the greatest preacher or whatever. But, but Paul was reminding them in these, these verses that it's all about Christ. And that's what I wanna remind you about right now. It's all about Christ. So in this first teaching, the first thing I want you to take away from this is that no matter where you got saved, who you got saved up under, that what we're doing now as a church or and as believers, it's all about Christ. I'll talk to you on the next session. God bless you.